How's it going? Uh, how's it going? Today is Exodus 1, Wednesday 5-6-20, May 6th, 2020. Alright, yesterday we read about the introduction to Genesis or to Exodus, what Exodus is going to be about. So today we're starting Exodus. Exodus 1. The Israelites oppressed. These are the names of the sons of Israel who went to Egypt with Jacob, each with his family. Reuben, Reuben Simeon, Levi, and Judah. Issachar, Zebulun, and, and Benjamin. Dan and Naphtali. Gad and Asher. The descendants of Jacob number 70 in all. Joseph was already in Egypt. Now Joseph and all his brothers and all that generation died. Joseph, now Joseph and all his brothers and all that generation died. But the Israelites were exceedingly fruitful. They multiplied greatly, increased in numbers, and became so numerous that the land was filled with them. Then a new king, to whom Joseph meant nothing, came to power in Egypt. Look, he said to his people, the Israelites have become far too numerous for us. Come, we must deal shrewdly with them or they will become even more numerous. And if war breaks out, will join our enemies, fight against us and leave the country. So they put slave masters over them to oppress them with forced labor, and they built Pithom and Ramesses as store cities for Pharaoh. Alright, so this was all predicted. God said this would happen, that um, um, generations would, be, um, would become slaves and treated wrongly, but then he said they would break out and... Um, Become a nation, and the people who treated them wrongly will be will pay for it. They said that before in Genesis. So. But the more they were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread. So the Egyptians came to dread the Israelites and worked them ruthlessly. They made their lives bitter with harsh labor in brick and mortar, and with all kinds of work in the fields. In all their harsh labor, the Egyptians worked them ruthlessly. The king of Egypt said to the Hebrew midwives, whose names were Shifra and Pua, when you are helping the Hebrew women during childbirth on the delivery stool, if you see that the baby is a boy, kill him. But if it is a girl, let her live. The midwives, however, feared God and did not do what the king of Egypt had told them to do. They let the boys live. Then the king of Egypt summoned the midwives and asked them, Why have you done this? Why have you let the boys live? The midwives answered Pharaoh, Hebrew women are not like Egyptian women. They are vigorous and give birth before the midwives arrive. So God was kind to the midwives and the people increased and became even more numerous. And because the midwives feared God, he gave them families of their own. Then Pharaoh gave this order to all his people. Every he Hebrew boy that is born, you must throw into the Nile, but let every girl live. Alright, so we got a bad ruler. That, that's it for today, but Exodus 1. So right now we got a bad ruler, and uh, he's, he's, uh, he's doing bad things so far already. So God bless everyone. Amen.